On September 5, 2027, the Voyager 1 will mark its 50th year in space. With its current velocity clocking in at approximately 38,000 miles per hour, the spacecraft is projected to be approximately 176 astronomical units away from the Sun, equivalent to about 24 light hours. Despite the gradual loss of energy due to the Sun's gravitational pull and the overall influence of the solar system, Voyager 1, having already attained escape velocity, we will never be able to cancel out its forward velocity and reverse its direction. At its current speed, it would require approximately 300 years to traverse the inner boundary of the Oort cloud. After that, the probe will go into orbit around the galactic center with no scheduled encounters with anything until about 40,000 years when it passes within 1.6 light years of a star named Glee 445. Despite this relatively close proximity, Glee will merely appear as another star, not that Voyager could see it. All of its electronics and the radioisotope thermoelectric generators are long dead, hovering near the equilibrium interstellar temperature of about 3 Kelvin. However, over the next billion years, Voyager 1 will continue its solitary voyage through the Milky Way galaxy. Despite the immense distances it travels, the universe is even larger, and the boundary of our observable universe is beyond comprehension. Nevertheless, over the next billion years, where will it travel and what will it see? Will it reach the boundary of our observable universe in the next billions of years? Well, we will find all the answers in this video. But before answering that, let's take a step back. The Voyager 1 spacecraft was launched by NASA on September 5, 1977. It was launched after Voyager 2, but because of a faster path, it exited the asteroid belt before its twin, overtaking Voyager 2 on December 15, 1977. Voyager 1 embarked on its mission to capture images of Jupiter in April 1978. When it was approximately 165 million miles away from the giant planet, the images it sent back by January 1979 revealed a turbulent atmosphere, more so than during previous flybys by the Pioneer spacecraft in 1973 to 1974. As Voyager 1 passed by Jupiter, it provided stunning views of the planet's moons, including Amalthea, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Moreover, it made the exciting discovery of two new moons named Thebe and Métis. Among the most captivating findings was the imagery of Io, showcasing a vividly colored world with numerous active volcanoes ejecting material into space, making it one of the most geologically active bodies in our solar system. After its Jupiter encounter, when Voyager 1 reached Saturn in November 1979, it unveiled another spectacular display of discovery. The spacecraft identified five new moons orbiting Saturn during this visit and captured breathtaking images of Saturn's moons, including Titan, Mimas, Enceladus, Tethys, Dion, and Rhea. Analysis of the data suggested that these moons were primarily composed of water ice. There was particular interest in Titan, where atmospheric data hinted at the possibility of liquid existing on its surface, potentially making it the first body apart from Earth in the solar system with such a feature. Following its encounter with Saturn, Voyager 1 began its journey away from the solar system, traveling at an astonishing speed of approximately 3.5 astronomical units per year, equivalent to around 325 million miles annually. Its trajectory led it at an angle of 35 degrees upward from the ecliptic plane in the direction opposite to the movement of nearby stars relative to the Sun due to the specific requirements for the Titan flyby. Voyager 1 was not directed towards Uranus and Neptune. In 1990, on a special day, Voyager 1 did something amazing. It turned its cameras back towards home and took pictures of the Sun and the planets. This was the very first time we saw our solar system from the outside. Voyager was incredibly far away, about 40 astronomical units from the Sun, which is around 3.7 billion miles. Continuing its journey, on February 17, 1998, Voyager 1 became the most distant human-made object in existence when, at a distance of 69.4 astronomical units from the Sun, it overtook Pioneer 10. Finally, on August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 became the first spacecraft ever to exit the heliosphere and entered interstellar space. After entering interstellar space, Voyager 1 revealed unexpected secrets of the interstellar medium. But how far can Voyager 1 even travel? As it continues its journey into the depths of interstellar space, 
it will encounter a myriad of cosmic phenomena over the next billion years and beyond. In the next billion years, Voyager 1 will continue its solitary voyage through the Milky Way galaxy. Although it will be beyond our ability to communicate with it, the spacecraft will continue to transmit data back to Earth, providing valuable insights into the interstellar medium and the environment beyond our solar system. One of the most significant events Voyager 1 will likely encounter in the next billion years is passing near other stars. While the chances of a direct collision with another star are extremely low due to the vast distances between them, the spacecraft may come within relatively close proximity to some stars. These encounters could provide opportunities for studying the stellar environments and possibly even capturing images of distant star systems. As Voyager 1 continues its journey, it will encounter various interstellar phenomena such as supernova remnants, nebulae, and interstellar clouds. These encounters will offer valuable data for scientists to better understand the dynamics and composition of the interstellar medium. Over the next billion years, the motion of Voyager 1 through the galaxy will be influenced by the gravitational forces of nearby stars and the overall structure of the Milky Way. It may pass through regions of higher or lower density in the interstellar medium, potentially leading to fluctuations in the data it collects. Despite its robust design, Voyager 1 will inevitably degrade over time due to the harsh conditions of space, cosmic radiation, micrometeoroid impacts, and the gradual decay of its power sources will eventually take their toll on the spacecraft systems. However, even as its instruments degrade, Voyager 1 will continue its silent journey through the cosmos, a testament to human exploration and ingenuity. Alan Cummings, who worked on the Voyager project, once said, Once Voyager 1 loses power in communications, it will continue to travel. I think it will go on for a billion years. There is nothing to stop it. As time stretches into billions of years, Voyager 1 will become increasingly difficult to track. Its radioisotope thermoelectric generators, which provide power to the spacecraft, will eventually decay to the point where they can no longer sustain its operations. The plutonium inside the craft has a half-life of about 88 years. Without power, Voyager 1 will go dark, continuing its trajectory through space as a silent relic of humanity's first steps into the cosmos. In front of it, mostly nothingness and a lonely, uneventful journey. Voyager 1 and 2 are estimated to exist for more than a trillion years, so they are immortal human artifacts. When the sun runs out of fuel in about 5 billion years, all living species, mountains, seas, and forests will have disappeared long before its expected destruction. It will be as if we and all the amazing and extraordinary beauty of planet Earth never existed. But amazingly, at that time, the two Voyager spacecraft will still be floating in space, awaiting discovery by an advanced alien civilization for whom the messages on the golden records were intended. Only those records will likely remain as testimony and legacy of Earth, a kind of objective immortality. Religious and spiritual people can find solace in the belief that God, or an afterlife, waits for them after death. For the secular, hoping that someone or something will remember humanity, any wakeful and appreciative aliens will have to do. Ultimately, the fate of Voyager 1 is to drift indefinitely through the vast expanse of space, a silent ambassador of humanity's curiosity and spirit of exploration. While its journey may eventually come to an end, its legacy will endure, inspiring future generations to reach for the stars and explore the unknown.